All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922 here to bring you Unbreakable Machine Doll, episode eleven review. Elf Speeder three. Um, this episode, man, why does she get? <laughs> this episode was weird because that Butler Machine Doll. He was beating the shit out of him. They, they couldn't. They couldn't beat this guy. And the whole bit, the whole bit of the episode called Elf Speeder was obviously because of this guy. He could have beat him. They could have touched him. They could have defeat him. They could have do anything. I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, you know? Um, it's like a joke. But yeah, this was a good episode. We basically have them fighting him in the beginning and <laughs> just get owned. <laughs> oh, so bad. Right? You can't do shit. Like, with Yaya, anything. It's like... So he basically gets owned by him, um, and gets sent to the hospital. You know the uh, what ends on happening is Loki shows up and he helps him. Not that much help, but he's able to get him to leave. You know, and basically he's in the hospital. You know, thing, and he's getting taken care of. Raishin and Henry is there, and she's basically telling him how. Supposedly, she doesn't like her sister or hates her or something. But, <coughs> excuse me, that was false. She wasn't telling the truth there. And it was along those lines. And she's, he's basically shaking her and saying, is that really true? Do you really hate your sister? You know, and saying, she says, no, no, I just want to, you know, and basically she wants to protect her and then, you know, and so on and so forth. Then we get another scene with these people, this butler guy and, and the master, and um, they obviously, their plans are one or two things. One, Charlotte does what she's supposed to do and kill the headmaster, or two, if she fails, they'll still get something out of it. That's basically what she's telling to the butler guy. And after that, rest of the episode pretty much we have this after that we have him walking with Yaya and they get into they get they get stopped by Shoko and Shoko basically tells looks at him looks at Brayshi and tells him you have two choices one you can go back in there and sleep on the bed or two I can put you to sleep here and he says I'm not doing either one she tells Yaya to come to her. She says, no, I'm going to be with Raisin. Walks up to Raisin and gives him a big slap. And after that, um, she, she tells him, don't, don't show your face ever again to me. I don't want to see your face ever again. And she walks away. And basically, Yaya is telling Raisin at that point, she only does that to people she really cares about. So she's really worried about them. Doesn't want him to do what she what he's doing. But basically, what ends on happening is they confront Charlotte and Sigmund. And Sigmund <laughs> ever since I started watching the show, I mean, this is the Sigmund, I think. Kodamine from Facebook. That's what I think, but he's basically talking to her. I'm talking to Charlotte and telling her that, you know, you should. She, he's basically trying to ensure her to not, to, to, to think about what she's throwing away here. Saying that if you do this, if you go ahead and do this, you won't be with him ever again. You will never be with Raisin again. You will never, she will never bring back her family it's over, pretty much. And she's like, I have to do this for my sister and all that jazz. And Raishin shows up with Yaya to stop them. And, you know, Sigmund transforms. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dragon man. Uh, dragon and shit. Huge dragon. And he tells Raishin, you know, you don't understand her situation. And he, they're trying their hardest to stop them. To stop them. And at the last part, what happens is 
He gets thrown by Yaya, right? She towards her and saying to her, believe in me. So I had to do, I had to do girl. Um, and stops her and says, you should trust in me. Let me help you instead of you doing it all alone and so on and so forth. And that's when this butler guy shows up again. And basically, we have this going on again. So basically, the 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 this episode was basically beginning. Raishin fights Butler guy. Ending, same thing. I really should give this a three and a half because of the way it went. Basically, what happens is this time around, it's not only Yaya going up against this Butler guy. We got Sigmund as well, and they both could beat this guy. I'm like. And then we get an explanation after that whole scene. Apparently, he is what is known as a machine doll. An unbreakable machine doll. And he... Uh, I think he's got, like, human parts in him or something. It was a very hard explanation they were trying to throw at us. For this episode. But pretty much, they're boned. And that's where the episode ends. And I have no idea what's going to happen next week. I have no idea. Next week's the last episode of Machine Doll. Um, I would safe to say that probably there's going to be a fight and they're going to try to stop him and then to stop the people who are making Charlotte do these things. Um, should be interesting. I should also mention the reason Henrietta wasn't with them. She's still at the facility, you know, where they were. And she's being protected by, um, uh, Frank. So, thought I'd bring it up. I mean, this show is, is, of, of the series that I'm reviewing this season, I don't put this on a high standard. You know what I mean, people? It, it, it's an okay show. It's not the greatest it's okay, you know, um, but it's still a good show. It's just not, it's not the greatest, you know, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the way I look at it, this is probably, I know people are going to say, that's bullshit, but I probably put this below Strike the Blood. Yeah, I probably do. Um, and, you know, along those lines, it's probably be like, Strike the Blood is below uh, Copilion and Kanata, you know, and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's still a good show. It's just, I hope, I hope it ends really well. Oh, by the way, I know this is off topic. I saw the ending of that multiple choice anime. Kind of disappointing. Though, I will have a full review on that later today. No. But yeah, I figured I'd say that. Anyway, we'll see how this ends next week. Um, shouldn't be interesting. I mean, I guess Raishin's gonna try to do something. I mean, Raishin's like... He keeps getting hurt. He keeps spinning up blood. I'm like... Ah, God damn it, man. Like, when? when is this guy... This guy's like... He's like, how many, how many times did you knock this guy down? He keeps getting back up. I'm like, Jesus, man. Take a hint. <laughs> you know? But we'll see what happens and how this ends. I mean, a lot of series are going to end this week. Um, Carpeleon's going to end. Kanata's going to end. Um, I believe Freezing's going to end as well. So that's like about... Yusha's going to end. That, that, that's, that's a good amount. That's like four series this week that's gonna end. That I'm gonna there won't be any more reviews for it. So I'll have to probably figure out where I'm gonna do my rate overall ratings. So probably I'm guessing like Nick the following week, it's just gonna be continue reviews of Strike the Blood and one more episode review of this. Give or take. Um, <clears throat> so, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's the story, people. Bonkai 922. See you guys later. I'm... This this guy, this elf speed guy. Sparks. Just stop. Guy, he's like Speed Gonzalez. Going all over the place. So, you know. But yeah. 
I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm thinking about doing tomorrow, today, later today. Live reaction to One Piece. In fact, I'm going to say it right here. One Piece is going to be the last chapter I review. Bleach is going to be first, and then I'm going to do a live reaction to One Piece. You're right here first, people. Watch out. Watch out. I'm Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later.